Round number eight of the TM Junior Series took place at the Kansas Motor Speedway. On the pole was car number 550 of Trevin Terrell as he leads the whole field down to the initial start. Right behind him is Scott Hamilton in the triple four. On the outside of the front row was Curtis Darcy. Avery Holtzman, the points leader, moves into an early second. Uh, Holtzman having a pretty a good run this season for EV Motorsports. A little further back with Chris Cole in the triple eight car. Lost a few spots in the start, but he's the big, biggest mover after the first five laps. Early problems for Oxalon, they're shutting the 997 car. They've been having some problems with the Journey LSX all week. Azuma Kazuyama gets escorted into the wall by Kyle Schmielowitz. That's the first yellow of the race. Kazuyama will drop out. And here is the 777 car of Kyle Schmielowitz, who was invited to the hauler after the race uh, to talk with the officials about that little incident. Here's how not to exit the pit lane as Gaspar D'Souza runs into Leslie Riggs that's going to cause some front-end damage to the 166 car, which would hamper him for the rest of the race. Here's the restart with Chad Lindy. You can see Scott Hamilton trying the outside, hoping that the outside line will have a good, uh, good run to turn one. Of course, it won't. As you see, Trevin Terrell able to hold him off. Chad Lindy's been a bit uh, eclipsed this season by his much more illustrious teammate Holtzman. However, he is beginning to shine today here in Kansas. Dylan Cardoza, the 173 car, early exit from the race. As usual, he's uh, not been on the pace, and his car hasn't been terribly reliable. Here's the big controversy of the race. Dan McKay in the 900 car is going to lose the engine on that car, slam on the brakes, and right in front of the field behind him, involving Jan Larson and that blue car of CJ Long. And uh, Dan McKay was invited to the to the hauler after the race as well. Possible penalty coming for the 900 car, and you really can't blame him for that one because that looked very avoidable. Jan Lauritsen receives damage. Craig Younser loses the gearbox in car 818, I believe, and that would send him out of the race as well. You can see up in front, Chad Lindy, and on the inside is Kyle Schmielowitz, who's not exactly going to do his job as a back marker. You can see, notice that the fifth place car is the, uh, the orange-black car. That's Robert Dorian, who's in place for Jeff Sesnick. You're going to see a picture of Dorian go right by Chris Cole here, as you see how much Cole is held up uh, by Schmielowitz. Dorian's going to get a better run on the back straightaway and look to the left. And there he is. Of course, Dorian running these two races for the 001 team to help uh, develop that car a little bit in the Junior Series. Uh, there is the 135 car of Chad Lindy in the lead. Alex Neshmary is going to put uh, push up the track, taking Pete Maverick and Billy Bob Childers into the outside wall. Neshmary had a bit of a bad season so far. Chad Lindy pitted under that yellow flag. Uh, he was the only one to do so. Mar um, the Marcus Leonard owned car of Ebenezer Quiggles Jr. led on the restart, but he was quickly lost the lead to Trevin Terrell in the 550. Robert Dorian in the 001 Volpe. The only Volpe in the TM Junior Series moves on the inside. Avery Holtzman in the 134 beginning to carve his way through traffic. Here he is working on Scott Hamilton. Avery Holtzman's day though would go bad as he blew up and that would be a huge points hit for him in that 134 car for the EV Racing Team. Holtzman, of course, had a big lead, and that's going to be uh, chopped into significantly. However, his points rival Milano Rossini is only running 24th, not having the day he would like either, so Holtzman's day may not be quite as bad as it could have been. Back up front, as the Ebenezer Quiggles Jr. car has assumed the lead, that's Bruce Wilkinson, who is going a lap down and uh, not exactly being too gracious about it at first. However, he lets the leaders by, and that's going to be enough for Ebenezer Quiggles Jr. to take home his first TM Junior Series victory over Chad Lindy, Robert Dorian in his first start in the series, Packer Carroll, Scott Hamilton, Mike Andrews, and Trevin Terrell, the two racing for the community cars, Chris Allen driving for Owen DeGarmo, Luciano Savarell, two top tens and two starts, and Curtis Darcy finishes in the tenth position. We move off now to the Rockingham Speedway in North Carolina for round nine of the TM Junior Series. Of course, this is round nine of 16. On this oval, just a little over a mile long, Scott Hamilton on pole in car triple four with Luciano Savarol on the outside of the front row. Alex Neshmary goes just as close to the wall as you want to on lap one. However, Carter Davids is going to get into the marbles and he's going to ride the wall for quite a long ways. Carter Davids having a bit of a rough time in the Junior Series. 
Billy Bob Childers in car 136 makes an early bid for the lead in the Hot Potatoes car. Here is um, Trevin Terrell making a bid for second place. Early problems for Lucas D'Ambrosio as he brings the lone Katziv in the field into the pits. Milano Rossini having a strong run here in the early stages of the race, currently running just outside the top 10 with his points rival Holtzman right behind him. Here is Curtis Darcy in the 109 car for the Lennard team having a bid for the lead. Darcy going to encounter the lapped car of Carter Davids. Davids going to chop off Darcy. Darcy will not be too impressed with that, but nevertheless, he will still get around the 387 car of Carter Davids. There's a lot of ways to make friends in racing. Chopping off the leader when you're a lapped car certainly isn't one of them. You see Chad Lindy running second and Lindy's teammate running third. Chris Cole running in 15th is going to lose an engine. Curtis Darcy is going to kick off a round of green flag pit stops. Billy Bob Childers and the rest of the field follows him. Tyson Lautenschlager is going to join out of the f up a little too late, and he's going to run into the leader, Curtis Darcy, and he's going to set off a big wreck here. This would uh, get him a call to the hauler, and you really can't see why it wouldn't. And uh, Curtis Darcy, of course, came out of that pit cycle as the leader. Lautenschlager just jumps in the field right in front of him, sends D uh, Darcy's car into the wall, but Darcy would be able to continue. Now here's what happened to D'Souza, who was having a pretty strong run for the second week in a row, but trouble befalls him early in the race, not of his own doing. Ross Shire encounters problems but with his car. However, his father, Scott Schleyer, the legendary ice racer, would have the same problem, but it would be terminal on uh, Scott Schleyer's car. Ross is still running. The 109 car of Darcy gets a good restart. He's still leading after that little mishap. Got a big dent in the right side of the car. You can see uh, Quiggles Jr. is not on the lead lap. Here's Milano Rossini in the uh, 312, having a pretty strong run. There is Leslie Riggs going a little wide and into the wall. You can see, look in the background, watch Leslie Riggs. He gets into Mike Andrews. Andrews slides the car, but he doesn't hit anybody else, and no one else hits him. No caution. Great bit of drifting there by Mike Andrews in front of the whole field. I'm amazed that wasn't a wreck. Here's Avery Holtzman, who's worked his way up into second place, right behind Milano Rossini, his points rival. Holtzman makes a bid for the lead, and he's going to take it, because Rossini is being held up by the lap car of Craig Yonser. And here is Scott Hamilton, who's worked his way up into second in that white and red car, and he's going to make his way into the lead of the race, as the young Canadian beginning to finally reach some of that promise. However, all this side-by-side -side racing is going to draw in the triple three car of Luciano Savaral in... Uh, triple three car towards the end of the race Craig Yancer a lap car is going to try to battle with Scott Hamilton and that's going to bring Luciano Savaral a golden opportunity to take over the lead he takes it and Savaral moves into the lead of the race and despite a spirited challenge by both Scott Hamilton and Avery Holtzman in just his third TM Junior Series start car triple three will take home his first TM Junior Series victory and make a strong case as to why he should be in the Master Cup Series next season Luciano Savaral takes his first win, Avery Holtzman in second, Scott Hamilton in third, Milano Rossini of Italy in fourth, Robert Dorian in fifth, that's two for two, two top fives and two starts for the British driver. Of course, he's running in the TM Light Series, and there's been talk of Dorian headed to the Cup Series next season. Chad Lindy and Billy Bob Childers make sure that all three EV racing cars finish in the top ten. Packer Carroll, another good run for him. Curtis Darcy in the Lennard, De uh, Lennard Development car in the... Uh, ninth position, and Pete Maverick squeaks into the top ten after a disastrous weekend in Kansas. And here's how the point situation looks after nine rounds of 16. Avery Holtzman on top of the table. He's got two wins this season. Ditto for Milano Rossini. However, Rossini is 34 points behind because he's less consistent than Holtzman. Scott Hamilton is in third in the championship. He's been moving up several positions quite recently. Curtis Darcy up to fourth. Mike Andrews, former Arla driver, has moved his way up into the fifth position. Packer Carroll in the Gaznier. Andrews' teammate, Trevin Terrell, in seventh. Those are the two racing for the community cars. Of course, that's Tyrone Stanley's team, which uh, he's using as an initiative to bring more African-American driving talent. And it seems to be working because these two drivers, it looks like they could make their way into any team based on their uh, driving ability alone. But it's good to see that there is some opportunity out there for people of all colors. Emmanuel Rodrigo is there in car 619, a little bit of an underfunded operation as Rodrigo is 8th in the championship, Chad Lindy sits ninth, and Billy Bob Childers makes sure all three EV racing cars are in the top 10 in the standings as well. And now here is 11 through 20, Pete Maverick in the 018 car for the Power Steering Incorporated team, Ryan Baldwell having an impressive rookie season, Ross Schleyer has had uh, the best of the 
Kessler Jones cars. They've been rather uh, vulnerable to mechanical problems. Of course, his father, Scott Schleyer, is a legendary ice racer, and his teammate, Axel Andersen, have both had several mechanical-related DNFs this season. Ebenezer Quiggles Jr. scored his first win in Kansas, now sits 14th in the championship. He drives for Master Cup driver Marcus Leonard. C.J. Long, Quan Ching, the first Chinese driver ever in a team-sanctioned series, Dan McKay of Canada, Chris Allen in the 159 car for Owen DeGarmo, Kyle Schmielowitz, and Chris Cole for Leonard, driving for Leonard Roderick rounds out the top 20 in the TM Junior Series point standings.